first of all, from the double blind placebo control trial, we know that the adverse events um, in the clinical trial were very similar for oral octreotide as they were for somatostatin receptor ligands, right? The, the major effects tend to be uh, gastrointestinal in nature, could be anything from nausea, diarrhea, abdominal pain, abdominal distension, um, but there is a time limitation on those adverse effects and they're very similar. So there were no new safety signals in the original core trial. And as you came out into the open label extension, one of the most interesting things uh, that was observed was if you started a patient in the main trial on 40 milligrams and you started a placebo patient in the extension on 60 milligrams, so a higher dose, and they've never seen study drug before, so they're naive, they actually had a trend toward less adverse events. So a higher dose of the drug to start, a trend toward less adverse events, and it makes us think if we do a deeper dive in the data, could this be because the higher dose actually has better control of the symptoms or manifestations of acromegaly compared to the 40 milligram dose? So that'll take some analysis, but it was really reassuring to know that at least at a higher dose of the oral octreotide as a starting dose, 60 milligrams, that you did not see any worse adverse events than the lower dose. So that gives us some ideas about the future and how we may initiate this medication. Currently, it's approved for more 40 milligrams per day as a starting dose, um, but we, we do have some data to support that even starting at a 60 milligram dose will be very safe for our patients.